Okay, welcome back. In this episode, we're gonna cover the mini CSS extract plugin and dive into the best strategies for CSS in a production setting. We're gonna start where we left off in the last episode, but if you need to catch up, get check out prod CSS. So currently we're using the style loader to add our CSS to the head of a document at runtime. You can see when we open up our dev tools and we look in the head, we have a style tag. If we go over to performance, and do some network throttling, putting it on slow 3G. So we can see we have unstyled content for a little while and then a flash of styled content when the main JS bundle is pulled in. We can see that again in our performance tab. If we click record and reload, we're seeing a blank page here and that corresponds to the entire main bundle JS having to be loaded and then it's parsed and our CSS shows up. So we can do better than that in production. First thing I wanna do, stop the web server and we're gonna install a new package. So let's npm install mini CSS extract plugin. Now this is a fairly new plugin that the maintainers of Webpack have developed to replace the extract text Webpack plugin uh, that we used in Webpack version three. All right, so now that it's installed, Let's cd into config. We'll copy the webpack dev. We'll change it to webpack prod. All right, so now we have a webpack prod. So let's change this mode to production. Let's take out the dev server. And we don't need the hot modules replacement plugin either. All right, so at the top here, let's require mini CSS extract plugin and then down in our loader instead of style loader we can use mini CSS extract plugin loader and we'll keep the CSS loader so this will pass into this now finally at the very bottom we want to add this as a plugin a new mini CSS extract plugin now that takes no options as the default we can add options later. Okay, so now in package JSON, we wanna change our scripts a little bit. Here we have a build script that uses the dev config. So let's change this to build dev, if we ever need that. And we'll change this to prod. Cool. So now when we run npm run build, we can see we have a new main CSS file. Sweet, let's open it up. It's gonna be in dist. All right, so we see our main CSS, but it's not very production ready. It's not compressed, uh, it just looks like our normal CSS file. Now there's a couple ways we can compress CSS. If we just have one file, um, we can actually add options to our CSS loader. And we do minimize true. So now when we rerun this, we will see main CSS has, it's basically taken out all the white space. That's fine, but it's not a great solution for the amount of optimization we can do to CSS. So there's a better solution than options minimize. Let's take that out. And that is a new plugin. So the way we can think about loaders and plugins is that loaders are effective on one file at a time, whereas plugins are effective on the entire bundle. So back in our terminal, let's npm install Optimize CSS Assets Webpack Plugin. To show off the benefit of the Optimize CSS Assets plugin, we have to create a new file that has some duplicate CSS in it. So let's do in source, let's do a nav CSS. All right, well, let's back up and source. We'll create a nav CSS. So that's gonna be right here. And inside nav CSS, let's just create a simple anchor tag. We're gonna give it a color, a padding, and make sure the cursor is a pointer. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna duplicate that inside of our original main CSS, which is in source, not dist. Let's put that there. Now finally in main.js, let's require 
nav CSS. Cool. All right, so now we have our duplicated CSS. So let's take our new plugin and install it. Optimize CSS assets plugin. These plugin names are insanely long, but anyway. So we're only going to use Optimize CSS as this plugin in the plugins, and we're going to give it no options. All right, so let's do it again. npm run build. So now we have a main CSS. So main CSS in dist. So you can see how it's broken it out. We have an a tag that shares a color attribute with our h1. And we have a anchor tag which is defined both in nav and in main, right? So the optimized plugin is doing all that calculation and putting it together for us. And this is a kind of a small example, but as the project grows, it's definitely gonna get more important uh, to combine CSS in this way. All right, cool. So what about some options? So the mini CSS extract plugin takes a couple of options. It's gonna be file name, and you're gonna say name, which will be basically what it is now, right? It'll be main CSS, but you can also do a content hash. And this is really useful for production. So put that in there and see what we got. npm run build. All right, so now it outputs a main with the appropriate hash. So in this episode, we created a new config file for the production build process. We separated the CSS from the JS for the first time and minimized it using both the loaders and a plugin. Now Webpack has a few more tricks for optimizing CSS, which we'll discuss in future episodes. If you need the final code for this episode, get check out prod CSS final. In the next episode, we'll be cleaning up our JavaScript situation in both the development and production builds. We'll see you there.